let me read you the backstory of my main family, the Stewarts. These two interracial lovebirds oh, fled okay. from the hometown Sunset Valley to escape racism. These re- lovebirds met in high school. They came to Riverview in hopes of a more accepting and diverse culture. What they have found is just that, a culture that is accepting and doesn't care what color your skin is. This is the story of two sims that love each other. Let's see how it unfolds. Yeah, I created an interracial family. Kind of like the idea of a white man with a black woman. You don't see it very often. Okay, so in this interracial family I have here, the uh, white... Uh, man, his name is, uh, Jeremiah D. Stewart. He's in a relationship with the black woman, Helena C. Stewart. They've been in a relationship for 116 days. Um, and he's only been with her, however, she has been with two other Sims and been in a relationship with him longest. He does not have a reputation, and she has the Naki reputation. I'll explain why later. Number, the number of cheats she has on her is three, because she's cheated on him three times. Well, actually, she's cheated on him twice, but I think it counts to cheat on him one of those twice, because... Uh, however it works, I don't know how it works. But anyways, here's uh, Helena C. Stewart's biography. Or as I like to call it, her backstory. Uh, born and grew up in Sunset Valley, graduate of True Long Community School, degrees BSE in K-12, jobs in education, medicine, and homemaker. Uh, she met the man who would become her husband, Jeremiah D. Stewart, while she was attending high school. Near middle, near the middle of the, their attendance, he was torn away from her by means of his parents. His parents did this after they found out that she was black. Their plans were to separate them by sending Jeremiah off to military school, which failed. Helena C. and Jeremiah D. met, met uh, stayed in contact through the internet and video game chat rooms. They met back up after 
Helena graduated from that wretched high school. And this is when they ran away to Riverview and got married. That's how they started their new life. It's been good ever since then. I have her marked as a Christian, lady, bisexual, conservative, independent, lover, fighter, etc. And I have her collecting Batwomen toys. And C stands for Crystal. Yeah. Let's see here. Jeremiah D. His backstory or biography is a little bit more complex. He was born in Twinbrook, grew up in Sunset Valley, graduate of Fort Starch Community School, degrees, uh, a bachelor's and a master's in accounting, a Ph.D. in biology, astronomy, and physics, certificates, a CPA, a CFE, and a CFF, Jobs in business, science, and politics. Uh, attended True Long Community School for a little while, where he met Helena C. Stewart, who was. Before they got married, and her maiden name had been Reality, so it's a Helena C. Reality. His parents sent him off to military school after they found out that Helena was black. They were hoping to separate them. But that failed. They stayed in touch through the internet and video game chat rooms and met back up after he graduated from the military school. It says wretched military school in here, but military school. This is when they ran away to Riverview and got married. That how they started their new life. It's been good ever since. I have him marked as a Christian gentleman, heterosexual, conservative, independent fighter, etc., and collecting Batman toys, and the D stands for Donald. I think I should remove the favorite vacation spots since you can only visit France, China, and Egypt. You can't visit anywhere else. There. Favorite vacation spots removed. I think next I will expand on the uh, in game. The uh, children that they had, which are all teenagers now. Though I do have screenshots of when two of them were children. No. Do I have favorite vacation spots on there? No, I don't think I do. Yeah. No wonder it was easy to put stuff in on her. I didn't cut the reputation spots on her. Oh well. Now neither of them have the big reputation spots. Good. Now let's go to the first uh, in-game child, Jeremy W. Stewart. His biography says he was born and grew up in-game. 
and that he's a Christian gentleman, heterosexual, conservative, independent lover, fighter, etc., and that he collects Nightwing toys, and the W stands for Wayne. Uh, Crystal H. Stewart, um, born and grew up in game, uh, Christian lady, bisexual, conservative, independent, lover, fighter, etc., and collects Batgirl toys. Uh, and the H stands for Haley. Uh, Bradley T. Stewart and Bruce R. Stewart are two twins. Bradley is the elder of the twins. Uh, born in game. Uh, Christian gentleman, heterosexual. Born and grew up in game, I'm mistake. Uh, Christian gentleman, heterosexual, conservative, independent, lover, fighter, etc. Um, we let go. Collects Batman, Terry McGinnis toys, and the T stands for Trevor. Bruce R. Stewart, born and grew up in game, Christian gentleman, heterosexual, conservative, independent, lover, fighter, etc. Collects Robin toys, um, and the R stands for Richard. And then their dog, Ace Stewart. Let's see what his biography says. He says, born and grew up in shelter. Uh, the man, the man that would become his owner, Jeremiah D. Stewart, rescued him after he ran away from his parents to Riverview. After a few weeks, the dog met his then-girlfriend, now wife, Helena C. Stewart, in reality. The dog was at a wedding. That dog cannot see anything wrong with them being together, but obviously their parents thought there was because they had to run away to live their lives together. This is stupid and wrong. The sad fact is that it took a dog to reveal this to the world. That's how they started their new lives. It's been good ever since. And I have the dog marked as a gentleman, heterosexual fighter, lover. And he got the name Ace from the Bat Hound collection, which his owner has, and that's how he got his name. And then it says, that's the story, now let's see what the future holds. I also have a green horse in here named Emerald. But I didn't give him all a uh, backstory nor a biography. The uh, biography is something you think of on your own. The game did not generate it for you. And in the memories, it's just what they've done in Riverview, so it doesn't really matter. That's pretty much it. 